The next simple structure that we're going to be taking a dive into is how to set up an activity. My name is Nan Drake, and I'm a Carnegie Master from the United States. And when I first became a trainer, that was one of the hardest things for me to do, to get a group of 30, 35 people on their feet doing the same thing without all sorts of questions, like, what are we supposed to be doing? So here is a simple structure that we can follow. The first step on the structure is the why. And you'll notice that there's a double-headed arrow between the why and the what. And that means that we can start either with the what or the why, depending on how the activity unfolds, what we're bridging from, and what we're actually going to be doing. Most importantly, though, we, people need to clearly understand the rationale, the reason behind what we're doing in the activity. When we get to the what stage, this is a chance to provide all the different things that will be unfolding. What the timing is, will we be in groups, triads, pairs, who's going to go first, all those kinds of details. In the example on the option phrase, sometimes we, this is where we would provide the questions that we might be discussing, um, or even a demonstration, such as in Disagree Agreeably, where people are in a triad, and we actually demonstrate how the activity is going to go. And then finally, we want to make sure that everybody's clear by asking who has a question. So a common activity in all of four of our major curriculum um, programs, or core programs, is practicing with a partner, or rehearsing a report with a colleague. So here's how a setup for that activity might go. Dale Kennedy mentioned that one of the most effective things that we can do in a presentation guideline is to rehearse with a, par with a colleague. So in a moment, we are going to be standing and finding a partner. Decide between the two of you who will go first. Each person will have two minutes on the clock to practice your report. We want to make sure that we get that timing down um, so that only we don't go over and we really, but also to maximize all the time we have. If you're the second reporter, make sure to wait until the time is called before you go so that you can get, the, get your, your fair share of the time too. Some of the things that we might want to consider with this is that um, to use the magic formula to tell us what you recommend um, and what will be the benefit to us as the listeners. Who has a question? So let's get started. So in review, the four steps of the simple structure for setting up an activity are the why, the what, the examples and actions, and finally, who has a question.